now let us see to put this okay so generally we say electric current i is equal to the number of charges flowing per unit time okay that you can find the definition textbook so electric current i is equal to how many charges are flowing okay charge rate is q by time we write as t so i is a current q means charge t means time so amount of charges flowing per unit time this is a formula for electric current okay so in this thing formula what i means i means the current q means the charge and t means the time okay but now you see in this example okay so charge is there okay. will the charge flow continuously no sometimes charges may flow more sometimes they may flow less okay so that will take as delta q okay so i write this way current i average i take the average current okay that i write as delta q by delta t that means small change in charge by small change in time okay that's meaning of that that's an average current there now what we must do is we must remove the delta sign for that we take limit sir okay for that what happens is we take the delta time is very very small it approaches zero so we take limits here let me write this side okay so i average or you can take the full current now okay i'm going to take the current flowing through so for that i'll write as limits here i'll take the limit in this limit delta t tends to zero okay so this term becomes zero very small okay so in what happens is delta q by delta t okay same thing only okay formula and this change to enter here this different way so we get the same now when you write let's say limit of delta t tends to zero we can write as in the form of differentiation form okay so how to write it is i is equal to we can write as dq by dt okay so this will give us a current there this is another way of expressing it okay so general definition is this one okay i is equal to q by t that means the amount of charges flowing per unit time is called as electric current okay this you learned in 10th also okay the basics the same thing only okay. now let us see what's s unit of current the s unit of current is ampere okay a m p e r e we have a spelling there its name of scientist okay but you write short form we write as capital a okay then this one no you not know then let's see now what's meant by 1 ampere okay so let's study what's the definition of 1 ampere okay so let us take a conductor here conductor means a wire in this wire we have a charge there the value of charge is 1 coulomb okay 1 coulomb of charge is flowing in 1 second then the current is 1 ampere it's very easy to find so we have the formula i is equal to q by t so you must get 1 ampere on left side okay so right side also you must get 1 by 1 okay then q means charge let us coulomb and time is measured in seconds so 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb by by 1 second okay it's a very simple way of definition how to measure current and an instrument called as ammeter is used okay this also learned in 10th so one more thing that we must know is electric current a scalar or a vector does it have direction yes we say current has direction does it have magnitude yes it has a number but still we say electric current is a scalar we say current is a scalar okay so why because if uh, suppose current is a vector means if two currents come and hit each other okay what will happen okay vectors can be added or subtracted okay but you see if two currents come this way one current comes this side and the current comes this side then we have to take the sum only okay we have to take the sum so you can say current is a scalar okay current is not a vector okay vector means it we can have vector addition vector subtraction but current we say current is a scalar even though it has magnitude and direction okay then let's uh, pause this video